Hey everybody, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to crop a photo with Illustrator's new crop image feature. It's only available in the latest version of Illustrator, so if you don't have that downloaded or you're in a previous version, check out this tutorial up here where I show you how to crop photos using clipping masks. With any image you bring into Illustrator, whether it's linked or embedded, you can use the new crop image feature on it. Do this by clicking on the image, and then up in the toolbar, you'll notice a new button, Crop Image. If we click on that, we're given a list of options here at the top. Points per inch, or the resolution is the first one, which we'll leave as default. You can change your reference point, change the X and Y coordinates of your crop area, and also define a very specific width and height of your crop area. You can also, like any other crop tool, click and drag on the corners to adjust your crop area. You can hold Option so that it drags uh, from the center and hold Shift so it drags proportionally and Shift with Option proportionally from the center. Click and drag to move around your crop area until you find that perfect fit. And once you've found that, all you have to do is go up and click Apply to apply the crop. Now what Illustrator does is it actually deletes out all of that image information, which means you can't get it back without undoing. And for that reason, it's not my favorite tool for non-destructive editing. I think clipping masks still provide a little bit more flexibility in those terms. However, I'm sure there are uses for it. It definitely reduces the file size of your document because it gets rid of that image information, but it also reduces your flexibility in uh, recovering any of that image because you it's completely deleted at this point. You're also unable to crop any areas that aren't rectangular. So if you want a circle frame, for instance, or any other creative shape, you'll still have to use clipping masks for those. That's the crop image feature in Illustrator. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tutorials.